You know that I like ducks. How could you not know? Surrounded by them. You see them in the back. So you're not surprised that I would have a Lego duck. Of course I do. But I never thought this guy was trying to harm me. But it turns out that, uh, look at a paper like this. There is an issue. Lego, of course, is made of plastic. And it turns out that whenever you manipulate Lego, when you take the pieces apart and when you interlock them, the, uh, just the movement of the plastic pieces releases tiny plastic particles, macro size or nano size. Nano is really, really small. Uh, the width of a hair is about 80,000 nanometers. These little plastic pieces get into the air. You can't see them, they're invisible, and they get into our body. They get into our food, they get into our water. And where it starts to become even more worrisome when you see articles like this, where they find the nanoplastics in testes. I don't like to see that. Now, you know that these days, plastics, of course, are getting a wrap. Why? Because we're discarding them indiscriminately. They get into the ocean, they get buffeted by the wave, they break down into smaller and smaller pieces, and of course they contaminate the environment. So what, what do we do about all of this? Well, of course, people will say, let's get rid of plastics. I mean, that's just total nonsense. We need plastics. I mean, our, our medicines come in, 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 in plastics. I like my blueberries in the morning. I wouldn't have them without plastics. But on the other hand, I mean, we can make some changes. Do we need these little pieces of candy wrapped in plastic? We could probably do without that. And uh, there are a lot of talk about plastic straws. Yeah, we can replace them with metal straws. We can do that. I can certainly do without drinking from bottled water. And that will have lots of nanoparticles in there as the water grades away the inner uh, surface. Uh, we can do without styrofoam cups. And there are all kinds of other issues. This tea bag, nylon. Tiny nylon particles get into our tea. Are they doing anything? No one really knows. And of course, we can do without uh, disposable uh, cutlery. And I suppose I could even do without my plastic bagel cutter. And I like to build my molecular models uh, out of plastic. Oh, there are alternatives there as well. I suppose I could make them the old-fashioned way. Here's a historic item for you, uh, a model that uses uh, metal springs and wooden balls. Not as easy to make, use as the, as the plastic ones. Uh, we could do without the plethora of plastic toys that we play with. Uh, we could do with, with less. So there certainly are changes that we can make in our environment to cut down on all of the plastics. Stop it. Uh, but to suggest that we can live without plastics, that's just nonsense. Our cars would not work without plastics. We could not have airplanes without plastics. You go into a hospital and everywhere you look, you will find plastics. We cannot do without that. So yeah, we could do without the orange Lego duck, I suppose, but we cannot do without plastics in a medical environment. This is a, a catheter that you need. Don't ask me why I have one. So we have to be more careful about our use of plastics. We have to realize that when uh, we are using all of those plastics, basically we are rolling the die. That's made of Bakelite.